All right, just a quick follow-up. I very quickly got it to work. Once you get off the camera, then suddenly you can think about what you're doing and why you're doing everything wrong. Uh, first thing, I had these upside down. <laughs> so, and sort of thought about what they did. So this wire is connected to the pull-down resistor. Uh, and this switch here um, will switch it up to uh, high when it goes up like this. So I had it upside down. I don't think that was working, but it seems to work better now. And the other thing that I did um, is I got rid of the button and just used the right-hand side, left-hand side um, switch on this one to be the select. So right now it is high. Um, so it's selecting from the B input, which is here. So if I flick the switch up and down, the LED comes on and off. So you can tell it's high because the green LED is off because uh, it's being inverted. That's the inverted um, output of the inverter thing. Uh, and so right now if I turn both of them to uh, low, so they're both being switched to low, uh, now if I switch from the select output from being high to low, it's going to, so the green light comes on. Um, I hope that comes up on the camera. Um, if I've done that, then now it is this switch here that makes a difference. So I can switch this on and off and the LED comes on and off. Um, and if I switch this one, nothing happens because this is B, right? And select is low. So we'll do that. We're going to turn that one high and then we're going to turn select back to high again. So the green light goes off. And now nothing, nothing changes when I flick this switch. So this is A flicking. But if I flick this switch, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So that's exactly the behavior that we eventually want, that we wanted and that we eventually got. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's very hard to do these videos. Well, <laughs> when you do absolutely no preparation, you don't practice and you do no editing, what, what can you expect? I think I did fine. Uh, so that works. I'm, I, I don't know what we'll do next, but there's lots of things to do. Uh, I'm just going to finish making my Tetris game. But we're going to come back. The next thing we're actually going to do is we're going to do this exact thing, but we're not going to use these gates. So we're going to we're going to try and use a different gate that we've already used, uh, and see if we can use it with just one gate. So we're going to talk a bit about uh, the universal gates and how we can use those to do exactly the same things. Uh, the reason that I wanted to do this video is I just really wanted a, a reason to actually use these ICs. Because I don't think I'm ever going to be using an AND gate um, very often, or an OR gate. Uh, and the next video is going to show why I probably wouldn't use them. Because there's a, another way of doing it. So thanks for watching, and bye.